Hi, my name's Dr. Rachel Corman. I'm the Feline Internal Medicine Specialist at Cat Specialist Services. And this is just a short video about the use of anti-seizure medications in cats with seizure disorders. We've got a previous video which is looking at the um, acute management of seizures using drugs such as um, diazepam or midazolam, but this video is focusing mainly on drugs that we use for long-term management of seizure control in cats. Now, every time a cat has a seizure, their brain becomes very hot wired and it becomes more likely to have another seizure event. And this is generally why we use the anti-seizure medications is to try and suppress that seizure activity. Now, there's different indications for using anti-seizure medications and we may not necessarily be able to stop your cat having seizures altogether, but we would want to see a dramatic decrease in frequency of seizure events and also a decrease in the severity of seizures. If you're at all concerned that your cat is not responding well to their medications, then please contact either us or your referring vets um, as soon as possible. There are many different types of anti-seizure medications that are available, but the main ones that we tend to use for cats are a drug called phenobarbital, which is available in either a tablet form or a liquid form. And every cat will have a slightly different drug dosage and also a different preference. But if you are finding it difficult to administer these medications to your cat, then please do contact us at any time. Another drug that we can sometimes use as well is a drug called levetiracetam. This is a liquid drug and this drug is typically given three times a day. With some of these medications we may also recommend blood testing for your cat and this can be both to look at the level of drug in their bloodstream and this is particularly important if cats are still seizuring despite the use of medications. Um, we will recommend a specific protocol of timing for when these blood tests should be performed. So if you do have any questions then please don't hesitate to ask. The decision on whether or not it's necessary to start an anti-seizure drug depends on each individual patient. Typically, if a cat is having more than one seizure per month, if the cat is having what we call cluster seizures, which is where they have multiple seizure events close together, or if your cat has what we call structural disease within their brain, so an example of this would be a brain tumour, or if your cat has had significant head trauma causing seizures, then these are the main indications for why we would recommend that your cat starts an anti-seizure drug. Drug therapy aims to minimise the severity and frequency of seizures that your cat is having. And some cats may need multiple drugs to achieve this aim. We will often start with relatively conservative drug doses and then increase the doses slowly depending on the cat's response and the frequency of their seizures. So certainly in the early part of their treatment, there may well be frequent veterinary visits that are required while we find the appropriate dosage for the individual patient. It's extremely helpful if you can keep a diary of your cat's seizures, detailing both the frequency of seizures and the severity of seizures, and also any abnormal behaviours that you might be seeing um, when your cat is having a seizure. One of the most important things to remember is that these are drugs that need to be given often for a long period of time. It's very important that you don't suddenly stop giving your cat these medications as that can actually induce rebound seizure events in your cat. So to summarise, there are multiple different anti-seizure drugs that are available. The most common ones that we use are phenobarbital and also levetiracetam. 
We may recommend that your cat needs blood testing to monitor their blood levels and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any concerns that your cat is not responding to their medication. Thanks very much for joining us and you can always reach out to us at Cat Specialist Services.